Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss a numerical on superposition. So we already know that superposition is a graphical method for studying a system in which if there are two or more forces or torques acting on a system, we study their effect by studying each of them individually on the system and doing the vector summation of all the forces or torques to find the net effect on the whole system. Right. So in this question we are given torques T3 and T4. Their magnitudes are also given and their directions are also given in the diagram. This diagram is already given and the length of the links AD, this is D, AB, BC and CD it is also given. So we have already written all the given data and we have to find the unknown value torque T2 which is acting on link AB. Now see because there are two torques T3 and T4 acting on the system it is not easy to find the impact of these two torques on body AB or to find the value of torque T2. So what we are doing we are using the graphical method of superposition to find the value of T2. Now because this is a graphical method so before we start with this you have to draw this diagram using proper scales. Right, the angles are given, all the values are given. So we take some proper appropriate scale. I have not taken the scale. I have just made the diagram to make you understand the concept. Right. So you can take let's say uh, 150 mm is 2 cm or wh whatever scale you want. So on the basis of that scale, first you draw the diagram. Because once you know the diagram, only then you can do the uh, free body diagrams and do the force analysis. Right. In any scale you want of your choice. So firstly we'll neglect T3. We'll assume that T3 is not present only T4 is acting on the system and then we'll find the value of T2. This diagram right. So we'll firstly draw the free body diagrams. So this is CD which is body number 4 or the link 4. Right you already know the magnitude. So what we do we draw a line parallel to CD at some distance right and we know the direction of torque which is counterclockwise. So I already know that the forces that will the two forces that will produce the couple it will be in the clockwise direction to ensure the condition of static equilibrium right. So this member 4 is connected to member 1 and member 3 which will uh, which will have the reactions on member 4 right because at every joint there are constraint forces action reaction forces right so we have one force f14 which is the force or the reaction on body 4 because of 1 and this is the reaction of body 3 on body 4 right so these forces should be equal and opposite only then we'll be able to satisfy the condition of static equilibrium right we have already started all these conditions so T4, the torque is F14 into H4. Let's assume that this distance is H4, the height, the perpendicular distance for link 4. And because these forces are equal F14 or F34, whatever value we put. Now from where are we getting this H4? When you will draw this diagram, the perpendicular distance between these two forces along the line of action of these two forces, it will give the value of H4. So by measurement we get the value it will come somewhere about 0.383 right. Now again you have to keep in mind that whenever we are drawing any diagram taking scale while putting it in formula we have to convert it back into the original quantities right. So T4 is already given we have calculated what, what is the value of H4 by measurement and this is the value of force F14 and F34 right. Now we come to body number 3 or the link 3. So this link 3 at this point there were two forces the action reaction forces. One act was acting on body 4 and the another one is acting on body 3. So this is the reaction on body 3 because of 4. And now because this body 
does not have any external force and it is connected to two links at two different points so it will become a two force member so f43 will be equal to minus of ft23 right the forces are equal but opposite in direction right we have not uh, written the direction we have we have just written the magnitudes that the value the magnitude of these forces is same direction will be different now coming to body 2 we already know that one part of the constant force which is acting on body b the another part of this constant force will be acting on body 2 which is f32 which is force on body 2 because of body 3 and because a torque is being produced so one more force has to act at the end right so these forces produce a couple which is clockwise so its reaction will be counter clockwise right so we have given it name t2a that means the torque on body 2 because of first part by neglecting t3 so we know the value of the forces f32 we have already calculated this h2a 2a again we'll measure because this is a graphical method right this is the perpendicular distance between the line of actions of these two forces so this we can measure the value we'll get will be somewhere uh, near about 0.274 mm right we put the value and we get that the torque on body 2 because of t4 the effect will be in the counter clockwise direction and the value will be 14.3 newton meter now whatever is given the question this is just to tell that there is some torque you have to find out the magnitude as well as the direction of the torque now the second part where we are neglecting t4 the torque on body 4 so firstly we'll draw the free body diagrams again it will be a new system of free body diagrams so for body 3 right because the torque is being applied in clockwise direction there has to be a system of forces producing a couple in counter clockwise direction right so this will be the direction of two forces right now these two forces we know they are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction so t3 will be f43 into h3b we have named this distance which is the perpendicular distance between the line of action of these two forces f43 and f23 this we will get by measurement right so we'll get the value of f23 which is somewhat somewhat i'll see again and again i'm saying somewhat near about this because while doing the graphical method while doing all the drawings it is possible that there might be certain errors so you'll not get the exact values but somewhere there about these values is fine right now so we know the value of these forces f43 and f23 now coming to the body 2 which is this body 2 we know that if there is this force f23 acting at point b a reaction because of body 3 and body 2 will act at the same point for body 2 right and because we have to produce a torque there has to be one more force which will be equal in magnitude and opposite in direction acting at the another point other point of the body 2 so we we'll, we know the line of action of these two forces the perpendicular distance very small distance is there so whatever the distance is we'll calculate it we'll measure it and we'll put it in the value right for torque it is force into perpendicular distance force we have already calculated f32 or f12 this h we'll calculate we'll put in it in the formula and you'll get the value and because these two forces are also producing the couple in clockwise direction so their reaction will be in the counter clockwise direction so we'll do the sum uh, we'll sum up both the values the torque by neglecting t3 and the torque by neglecting t4 and when we add them up this is the answer that we get now because both t2a and t2b are in clockwise direction this will also the resultant will be in counter clockwise direction